passing your perfect appearance. I'm a, I'm a tiny bit vain. I can't uh, just a tiny bit? Mm-hmm. But not really. You should see me. Do you know anybody can I tell you what this? I do? No, this is like something I read in Cosmopolitan. <laughs> That's not a tiny bit, I read though. this in Cosmo. You should use your knife. This is actual etiquette. It's okay to take your knife and, and put on lip gloss at the table with your knife. Oh. See, you just do, 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 and you're done. And it's sexy, and it turns people on, and whatever. It's all about being turned on. Right. Oh, I got you all right. This part, I think I got down solid. But what I don't have, you know, what I want to know is, if you're so fucking real, Lydia, then what the hell are you doing here? I mean... If you're so much better than me, then why bother at all? You could just wait it out, and maybe I'll drift away like a little piece of paper, like nothing, right? Because that's what I am to you. Nothing, right? So tell me. Why are you still here trying to take me apart? All of you. What a fucking amazing snow job you're all doing on the world, and I bought it. We all buy it. My family? Suddenly I'm like Mary fucking Tyler Moore or something. I mean, they live in hell, right? And they spend their whole lives wishing they were rich or sober or clean. Wishing they lived on some street with fucking trees, like being on some TV show or something. And I did it. I moved to Boston. I work at a law firm. I'm the big success story. And they have no idea what that means. Well, I'll tell you what it means. It means I get to hang out with a bunch of lunatics like you. It means that I get to read books that make no sense. It means that instead of getting harassed by the guys at the local bar, now I'm getting harassed by guys in suits, guys with glasses, guys who talk nice, guys in suits. Well, you know what I have to say to all of you? Shame on you. Shame on you for thinking you're better than the rest of us. And shame on you, Lydia. Shame on you for being mean to me.